pregnant women should eat yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So today I just decided, okay, since I gave um tips for pregnant women, let me just talk. So, what is pregnancy? What is pregnancy? I have just. Is, is there like is pregnancy? Like, is there like a real definition of what is pregnancy? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, pregnancy. Why asking, that's why I'm asking. It's simple words. Pregnancy is when the baby is growing and the time we finish. But there is a, <laughs> okay. there is, there, there is a term. There should be a term for that. Yeah, of course there is. Wikipedia says pregnancy is also known as gestation is the time during which one or more offspring develops inside the womb. I was looking for that. <laughs> the one or more. Mm-hmm. The one or more part. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what Wikipedia says. I hear, I hear you. Thank you, Wiki, for that. There's another definition though here yeah? uh-huh. that says pregnancy mm-hmm. is the term used to describe mm-hmm. the period in which a fetus develops inside a woman's womb. What did I say? <laughs> I think, like, my answer was spot on. It was straightforward. <laughs> okay, yeah. Like, I have this, uh, I love kids, don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. but when I think that I have to get pregnant in order for me to get one, you just get demoralized. You, you know what? I think it's because people keep talking and got pregnancy in a baby. Yeah. Yeah. The baby That's scaring us. Yeah. They stitch you and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So like when yes. you start thinking about those things, then like, you feel like, I don't know, I, I, I can't go through yeah. this. Then they'll tell you it's painful. Mm. Which way? Because it's painful, yes. Because then they're I'm just exaggerating the pain. Mm-hmm. Oh, but so mm-hmm. you never really know what is what. Because up um, until you go through it. I don't want to go through it. Yeah, you yeah. gotta. <laughs> Yo, woman. Yo, woman, you're going to see have a kid you know, one day. I, I pray I have money and I pay so yeah. <laughs> Are you serious right now? <laughs> but it's not going to be the same. Although you'll be a mother, it's not going to be the same as if you had carried that child yourself. So, guys. There's something. There's just but something. You know, but the end result is going to be the same. You're going to have your own Joey. kid. <laughs> and I feel for uh, this thing of saying that you are a woman. Like I feel a mm-hmm. woman shouldn't be defined for she can Very give true. birth or yeah. 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 Because we've gotten to stages of late where other women, it seems they can't have kids. Yeah. And that's mm-hmm. the they're women. We, child yeah, they're infertile. Yeah, they're So we shouldn't take away mm-hmm. the womanhood from them because, because they can't have babies. It's, 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 it's like not that. even about um infertility issues. Yeah. People it's, just it's, choose it's, not to have I kids. She's like Angie said, yeah. and she's she's not yet there where she's mm-hmm. like, you know what, maybe I need to have a baby. And it's mm-hmm. perfectly fine. If yes. she doesn't want to have a baby, then it's cool. Okay. Angie can be without her baby. It's still fine. She's still a woman. Exactly. I think we're not to say Angie don't have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> To, to the norm where they say Mosadi turns for another man. Hey, you do what you do. Only can do is now. There's a lot you can do. Now, just exactly. that people exactly. feel that how another man I don't know. I, I don't understand. Is it as it's one thing or I don't know? It's a because cultural thing. Cultural. Because even big people like the moment they know maybe you're above 21 mm. they ask you maybe you're still going to school and they ask you when are you having a child and you ask yourself what 21 what 21 i get imagine being in your 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 mid your mid is it mid 30s mm-hmm. 35 34 and remember those are the ages where like people of your ages already have kids yeah. and you are there 34 35 without a kid. you keep one. getting questions like I, I'm not that old, but I have friends who are actually older. <laughs> you know what I will say to those women who are in their mid thirties and what? You know, they shouldn't let society define them. They should do what they want. Mm. Having a kid, you know, it's not a big like you know. It is a blessing, but if mm-hmm. you. If you, if you are not ready to, if you are not ready to have one, don't let people pressurize you because whenever you want to take care of your child or what, mm-hmm. I can respond to so people don't understand. Mm-hmm. And there's no mother who over the whole and yeah. yeah. someone is there pressurizing you have a child, have a child. What am I going to take care of the you child? You don't just bring a child. Yeah, first of all, maybe you're not even working, mm-hmm. but they want you to have a child. Mm-hmm. But like Joey's saying. Harry, 
you know, societal pressures. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The same thing with that very unnecessary. But a woman's right of passage is pregnant. Remember we were taught that at school, eh? Hey, no, no, times have evolved. Mm, exactly. Tons Don't be telling me for me to be a woman to be considered as a considered woman. A yeah. woman. If I don't have a child, then I'm less of a woman. Yeah, aha, uh-huh. mm. my reproductive system is less like, than a woman. Yeah. Yeah. We don't yeah. say that yeah. there is a past, but you know, the, yeah. past, the, the past is the past. This yeah. is the future. The future. Yeah. And there are some men who will be like, I cannot marry a woman if I haven't seen that she can give birth. Like, oh, yeah. they want to impregnate you yeah. before they say, marry me. And about it, they can even give you a kid and then run away. Imagine that's what they Imagine. do. <laughs> the promise that you marriage, you'll tell you no, mm. I'm not, and then the kids yes, and the next thing they're gone. Nah, come on. They disappear, but too lucky. Yeah, but I'm not going to get it. Yeah, 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 I'm not going to get it. The women, you know, they end up forgiving them. This but I'm on the whole one of the and they'll be like, you know, hey, this is your dad. When have you been? <laughs> all these years. But, but after just... all the trial <laughs> and you know, it's so unfair. Like you know, unfair, you know what guys. I would say. I would say I don't have a dad. I grew up without one. My mom was one. What was? What are you here for? What are you here for? Yeah, that's all. I'm about to then he starts remembering what I have a child somewhere. So viewers out there listening, please don't desert your children. I don't I don't like the the feeling of a child growing up without both the parents. Yeah. Okay, if one person don't know it's fine, I understand, but if the, 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 the parent there. decides to run away for no reason. <laughs> I don't understand what is wrong with people. Mm. But I think I think in this COVID phase, a lot of people have really tried not to get pregnant because mm. we don't have jobs. Our streams of income, so if I'm to bring a child into this world, Mm-hmm. How am I going to take care of that child? So, uh, COVID itself has affected the pregnancy rate. Although we could still say that people get pregnant, mm-hmm. but it's not in large numbers as it was before. The only thing COVID brought, you know, is, uh, you know, rising cases of domestic violence. Mm-hmm. People are killing And unemployment. Mm-hmm. Um, so, we all know that there are any signs in terms of pregnancy. The one which I know, <laughs> the one which I know, mm-hmm. and I know most people are always thinking about nauseous <laughs> feelings. That's the one. Oh, but I, these others that are, I'm told that they, mm-hmm. I haven't had people like what people who don't get nauseous. There are people who never even get nauseous, mm-hmm. and you know, you know, they just stay there normally. They even go through the period, mm-hmm. yet they are pregnant. Mm-hmm. Like what causes that? Thing? I don't know. It's it's just a matter of being different. We're all different in a way. So whatever it is that you go through while it's pregnant, I'm not gonna go through it. She might go through the same thing as I did, mm-hmm. but you are gonna be different. different yeah, yeah, it's about the difference. But for somehow I thought maybe when let's say you, you don't, you haven't figured out you're pregnant yet, mm-hmm. and then maybe you still go through your period. Like I feel that when I'm a calamity somehow, like that's just always been my mentality. Yeah, like, what's what's with this thing? Because I hear some women say, you know, you guys to watch, I didn't know I was pregnant. Mm-hmm. So it happened, you know, where these teenagers, teenagers just give birth, like out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. They, they were going through their periods, nothing, nothing was happening, there were no signs. But is it really true though? Like, no, it is. It's an issue of hormonal imbalances. Uh-huh. There are women who suffer from hormonal imbalances. Mm-hmm. So what would happen is that, <clears throat> uh, I'm one of those. Mm-hmm. So what happens is that um, sometimes your your menstrual cycle is not regular like of an average woman. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you get your period. Sometimes. So even when you eventually get pregnant and you don't know, and then your period doesn't come, it doesn't bother you oh, hey, because, hey, because you know, it's something it's that it's something that you know keeps happening from time to time. So you just relax. Mm-hmm. You relax, and then before you know it. 
ah, I'm pregnant. Is the baby coming up? What is happening? <laughs> so maybe the tummy doesn't even get in, in a, I can't even know with hormonal imbalance naturally your tummy bulges. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it bulges. Can't they? When you're thinking, no, it's just the normal bulging. Can't they? That's a baby bump. Mm-hmm. You you just don't know. Maybe you've been drinking alcohol. And you've been drinking alcohol. Well, let me. It's it's like a high risk mm-hmm. for you to get pregnant and not know mm-hmm. because I can immediately you get pregnant, then you start reaccustoming your lifestyle mm-hmm. in order to cater for, for a healthy baby. baby. Yeah. So That's now true. if you're just going to be leaving, you know, I'm If you are a smoker, you continue smoking. You do, it's actually putting the baby at risk. Mm-hmm. But I mean, if it's an issue of hormonal imbalance. It's it's really there's really nothing you can do about yeah, it. Yeah. So you'll be fine. What are the other signs in terms of pregnancy? There's frequent urination. I do that. Well, 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 if you want that, 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 I don't trust that, that one. Yeah, no. It's the same as you know, um, <laughs> yeah. mm. you you just never know when you know the things that you know you just never know already. Is there a baby bomb? Yeah. You know? But I think with the with the I'm always it's when the baby's actually growing now the blood the pressure. pressure. Mm-hmm. So there's oh. pressure mm-hmm. when when you uh, in, intake liquids. Mm-hmm. That baby sitting, I got the baby, mm-hmm. the womb will sit directly mm-hmm. on top of the bladder. Yeah. So there will be that edge. I need to pee. I need to pee. I need, I need to pee. pee, I need to mm-hmm. pee. So <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. So be careful, girl. You <laughs> <laughs> share your experience. You said you have given birth before. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I want to be I don't know. Jimmy was, was just being himself. <laughs> yeah, was just being <laughs> All right. And then that cravings. I don't know. Hey, about who? You ask yourself, like, where does that com- combination come from? Like, we are cravings. cravings. Mm. Mm. Me with cravings, usually it's because we are born like a certain nutrient in the mm. body. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then your body, well, the mind will try and calculate for, okay, fine, maybe if I mixed an apple and a and then and peanut butter, I'll then what I need maybe to. this mm-hmm. edge, yeah, yeah, I only, it does a pass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's where now you get people craving weird things. Some will be like, oh, pickles and jam, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. peanut butter and apples, this and that. So yeah. Can you say the craving? Okay. Headache. Your headache. Yes. I'm always heavy. I'm not pregnant. These things. Some of them are no. Wait, guys. Can't give you a test. Okay, I'm still a baby. No, we can do. We can do. We can do a home test with what mm-hmm. you do with salt and 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 what is it? Salt or sugar? What happens? No, it's vinegar. It's vinegar. It's more. There's actually more home pregnancy tests. Come on, share with us. What do you put the vinegar and the salt? Ah, oh my God. No, um, another symptom would be laziness. Why are you putting me on the spot like that? Because like I've tried it. We didn't say you tried it, you know. Share with us. Come on, now. Um, no, I would, I would have to, to search more to actually be able to yeah, share this. Oh, oh, what I know is there's water, and I'm not sure if it's salt or sugar. And then you pee, you mm-hmm. mix your. No, is it pea and sugar? It's pea and sugar. You put in the sugar on the pea. If it somehow goes all the way down, it's it's either I'm not sure if it's negative or positive. It's either it stays on top before it actually melts or it just goes all down all the way into that last. That's when you can determine whether it's a yes or a no. But I haven't tried it. It's just Google researches. <laughs> You're lying. No. I think she's right. It's an issue of density. Mm-hmm. I think your you your 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 urine mm-hmm. when you are pregnant it has um what you call it. I don't wanna call it mucus or whatever, but it has something inside that actually makes the density a bit more heavier. Mm-hmm. So if you are pregnant and you mix, I'm I'm assuming I'm not saying I know. Yes, I'm assuming. You're a fan girl. You shouldn't have all that. <laughs> one of the densities has to outweigh the other. That's what I'm assuming. So <laughs> yes, right. if you search this, you find a lot of these okay. home things right. to try out.
<laughs> so let's go, guys. Let's go for a musical break. This mm-hmm. pregnancy thing. No, but no, but that's the whole reason why I want to get uh, uh, an operation. I'm fired. I'm check, guys. I'm fired. What <laughs> operation, Angie? <laughs> You thought you so? You thought so? Yes. Was it a cryptic? No, you know what happened? Yeah, the lights are off. Mm-hmm. 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 Your music is so boring. <coughs> How do you say that? What's up, Puffy? Yes, today I was at the lane, my girlfriend is doing it. Wow, what's up, Ian? Hey, what's up? I don't remember what it was. Maybe it's just my age. I don't know. 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 I
official policy or position of the Dow Academy. Any content provided by bloggers or authors are of their opinion and are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything. The radio station you can't live without. This is your radio. Yes, this is breakfast with Angie. Sally's co-host and her. <laughs> but she didn't Fine. give me the heads up because I was co-hosting. You said it all safe, so yeah, it's not. Okay. Yes. Then so, give, let me, let me, let me introduce myself as okay. the co-host. Please <laughs> do the honors. <laughs> All right, you? um, if you've just joined us, we are talking pregnancy. Anything that relates to pregnancy, this is the topic for today. Mm -hmm. If you have anything to add on to what we're discussing, you can use our WhatsApp line, either send a voice clip, voice note, or a text message. It's still okay, we'll read it out loud for the other viewers to hear what you're saying. The number is plus two six seven five three four thirteen four seven. It is TDA Teller Radio. That's I'm still the girl. You're a ghost. The, the ghost. Oh, I thought you said you are a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> you you went on like that. You forget about the ghost. Mm -hmm. Maybe he wants ghost. to be cast for the friendly ghost. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we're still talking about the symptoms of pregnancy. We talked about. Um, Nausea. I don't know what, but the problem that I had mm. floating in the belly of this. <laughs> 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 I researched, guys. Yeah. I. 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 We're just mm -hmm. glad that you're okay. I'm glad that I'm, I'm glad that I, you know, I don't get to be pregnant. Oh my god. Joy. One minute Joy is pregnant, the next day is not. Next day is not. The 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 next day is not. What story do we stick to? Are you biased? Okay. <laughs> you can never choose to be pregnant or not. Thank you. Wow, I will show you. <laughs> So like, does anyone know like what your stomach feels like when you're pregnant? Has anyone ever been Bloated. pregnant? It bloats. It bloats. <laughs> how do you? How do you know that? My research, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I researched. What did you do? I researched. You said, does anybody know how it feels? How it feels? Hmm. How pregnancy feels? Well, you should have said in reference to my research. <laughs> it says. I think it's not telling it us something. Like yeah, I'm talking about you. She's a bambino. Even if the, the baby was there, I wasn't going to lie. Mm -hmm. The baby was not there, guys. There, is no, there was never a baby. It was just starch. Maybe you, maybe know, you got a bite in the oven and you're not telling us. Come on, bro. No, I, I, I don't bake. It's you don't bake. It's too early. early. I'll bake probably in seven years from now. Oh, ten okay. Ten years from now. I don't even know. I don't know much of now, now you, what causes pregnancy? What, what? causes? Ah, ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like this, like probably kids are listening at home. And yeah, they you are. Watch, no, like let me let me tell you something. The, you know, I I asked this question, you know, uh, because I knew you what you'll react. Pregnancy is not it's not only cause the way you thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Education. That's Methods exactly. Yeah. There are other methods to get pregnant, not that way you thought. Okay. You need to clean shed your some mind. light. Oh, oh, shed, you shed, you shed some light. Oh, oh, you be mm -hmm. um, um, uh, fertilization, whatnot. Mm -hmm. Put anything. Shop. 
Kuri, it's, it's anything related to, you know, assisted, you know, technology, you know, oh, exactly. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, so, like, is it open for everyone? Yes, it those is. Those who want to go through the whole process and those who, like, you understand what I'm saying? You gotta have money. <laughs> yeah, money. You gotta have money. money. You, gotta have money. You, know like, you remember that? No, it's not even about that. Giving an essay, there was a man who stole papa's mm-hmm. money. Mm-hmm. That and was so strange. I'm like, you know what? At least you saw you stole something mm-hmm. meaningful. When I was about then, you were still stealing at the end. But I think it's not about. It's not about. Yes, mm-hmm. the whole process. You need to have money to pay for the procedure. Yeah. So. If 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 we're now over a because yo it's it's costly. Not that I've done it, but if you read books, I know what IV, you is it IVF? It's IVF. Mm-hmm. IVF. IVF is like thirty k, thirty k in runs. So it's true. Rants. These things are expensive. No, they are expensive. They are getting a designer baby. Mm-hmm. Another mm-hmm. reason why they're called designer babies is you actually get the you choose. You I choose. want. And what I call a baby. Mm-hmm. Um, I want that wow. if the father was a doctor, that's what I want. That's yeah. what I want. Kore, you choose what you want and you hope that's for the best. Mm. And no. they tell you sometimes it will work, sometimes, sometimes it won't work. It's a 50, but we do not yeah. so you risking with your man. Yeah. Yes, oh, yes. It's, not, it's not it's risking. Not At the end, end of the day you get you get the baby that you wanted. Just that maybe some, some attributes that you that you hoped would be there. Yeah. Just like that. Design a baby. <laughs> I think even, I think even, I want to design a baby now. Just, <laughs> even <laughs> even with with, with surrogates, mm-hmm. you, you need money to pay the surrogate. Yeah. You need money to take care of the surrogate. I got have it. There's an agency in Botswana, I think. So it was a, an agency you know, for for surrogate something. I forgot that name. What's really? Name? Please find the name. In yeah, Botswana, yeah, there is. Wow. Sure? Yeah, there, there, it's it's the only surrogate agency in Botswana. Wow. It's, it's located in Kaboroni in Kagalani. I find the name. Yeah. So what do I do if I if I want to become a surrogate mother? I no, I think you should visit them, you know, there are steps to be followed, you know, they need to access you and stuff. I don't know. But one thing I know is usually when you want to be a surrogate mother, you need to go for a mental, have the mental side, huh? a psychiatric event, something. <laughs> because apparently you. some women will, 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 will become attached to the baby. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then when it's time to give up the baby, it's it's be like, no, this is my child. What do you know? Or you are in it for business. Mm. And exactly. So, and sometimes they're advised to, 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 to have a baby before they actually commit to being a surrogate. So that they know that they, I have a, my own baby there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 that's what it's Yeah, that's in what most cases, about. they want to mothers. It's, yes, it's, it's a requirement. It's a requirement. It's a requirement. Mm-hmm. Because if it's the first time you, you, you get you pregnant, might, you, may, mm-hmm. you may not want to give up the baby, mm-hmm. but when you are paid, or yes, 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 yes. so it becomes... I think finding a surrogate in Botswana is expensive. You know, and I, 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 you know, I read about this other girl. She, she was a surrogate. She was paid three hundred k. In BW. In BW. Whoa. Because she needs to be, you know, kind of for you to be a salary. It means that you know that's your job. Mm. You know, you don't have a daily job. Mm. Your job is to bake the baby. Exactly. <laughs> so they need to pay her money for you know for her life, the baby, and the agency. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, remember, it's remember, it's like buying a house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Remember earlier on on Ian's show, we were talking about the two wrongs in Mao. Mm-hmm. Do you guys remember the book where there was a surrogate? Um, I can't remember her name. The one whose family background was a bit kind of hard and low. And then she to be a surrogate. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And then when she was giving birth, she kept screaming, "Madue, Madue!" <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All she was talking about is money. Because she wanted nothing to do with that child. All she wanted was a brand new car, a house, and the payment of costs. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Like she's screaming like money. Even after we money. took away the child, she was like, "Mad, bring my money." Mm-hmm. That was so hilarious. It's not about money, money, money. Imagine you're in pain and all your money. <laughs> no, but I think it's a good.
good technique. Mm-hmm. Like it the, is. the more you're in Kenya, like okay, fine, I'm doing but it for the money. Not getting for the money. something out of hey, mm-hmm. The yeah. money's coming. This pain, yeah, the money's coming. And I think you know the easy way to go about this thing is to find yourself a best friend and be like, yo, friend, I'm just, you know, Sarah, man, to say. I don't know. 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 I don't Obviously we're going to be friends for a long time. How do you feel how do you think I'm going to feel watching you raise a child that I carried? That's why it's always in most cases they use strangers, people that don't really know each other. After yeah. the process we go our separate ways yeah. because I'm gonna work, can I have your number? Exactly. Yeah, you cut off communication. It's yeah. difficult to watch somebody raise your child, especially being a woman. If it was a man, that's cool. With women, it's 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 How something else. Women talk. Uh-huh. They it's talk. Like, Imagine they talk with Tana. Hey. Like saying, "That's my baby." That's my you baby. Know? And I forget what it will mm. happen to your mental mm. thing because when we you couldn't have baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I start now destroying you emotionally. Even the child, yeah, because what is going on? Why does my mom's friend keep saying I'm um, their daughter mm-hmm. or their mm-hmm. son? What is going on? Now there's a conflict. I'm not confused. The high school, high school, high school, high school. Right. Right. Oh, what's going on? Now you have to sit the child down and explain. This is what happened. Mm. But guys, at what age do you think it's appropriate to tell the kid, um, baby, like? You are a product of, you know, Saturday, you know, or something, you know. Do you tell your kids the things that no, you don't? No, no, I'm not gonna tell my kids that somebody else can do. As what? long as you, as long as you cut off communication with that. Family will talk. The family will talk, yes. Yeah, obviously because family is always nosy. Hey, hey. But, but what you don't have to talk back. You don't have to talk. But I what will you do when you, when the kid finds out and you never told him? I, like, I, I, I do not explain anything to my child. I'm the adult. Typical no. African woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, is what, this is what needs to change. You know, no, you got to talk your no, kid down. No, because can I, how do you, have, you know your child. I mm. think mm. there's a child who would, okay, would be understanding with my heart. So yeah. mm-hmm. have Said, oh, okay, baby, mommy couldn't do ABC, mm-hmm. so mommy had to do ABC, exactly. you know. And then one about Talohanya, and some kids would actually embrace it and call themselves, so, Oh, I'm a designer, baby, you know. Mm-hmm. But some kids would actually hate you for that, yeah. you know, be like, Oh, so when I'm mama, you did this, and no, 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 I want to like, uh, assess your child, child before you've been telling him everything, yes. Remember, in a way, it's, it's best. If the child gets the news from you, yes, mm-hmm. other from than other from relatives, like and you know, you now know, I'll cut you off as my relative if you go because putting your yeah. nose in my business, telling my child that I'll cut you. Cutting off won't help. At the end of the day, the child would know that so my mom didn't tell me this what happened. I remember I watched this movie, mm-hmm. like, uh, what is it called? Mm. I, I forgot the name. But this is a situation where this woman couldn't give birth. She was actually very young. She, she was two years into the marriage. She was actually 26 years old. Mm-hmm. And uh, apparently there was just some complications with her. So she couldn't give birth or get pregnant and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So she she and her husband opted to, to get a service, right? Mm-hmm. But they got it. Things worked out. The baby was born. Yes. But they took the woman's egg, the wife's egg, mm-hmm. and the, the whatever they fused and put back inside that woman's womb mm-hmm. and all that. So now when the baby was born, I think the baby was around 13. So there was an aunt who didn't like this 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 smuggle too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No one will, will always like you in mm-hmm. your man's family. They can never like you. So now this, this lady had the audacity to go tell the child that your your mom you know stuff like that so she she used machines to make you know like one i am confused she confronts the mom and then she's asked the child is asking where did you get such information her auntie so and so okay fine they confront then the auntie was like nah tota, i never wanted your husband to marry someone else other than me like honestly like Wait, wait. Future <laughs> when we we, we bow the spotlight because the, the the father married someone else. Mm-hmm. Like how can you marry your own cousin? That's why I'm saying wait. wait. Did you that? say the aunt said I didn't want the your father aunt, to marry her, I wanted mm-hmm. him to marry me. Mm-hmm. That's why she told the child that your mom wasn't in her womb and all that. If it was for me, you would have been a healthy baby. 
But then at the end of the day, how does it help her? Because still, she's not married to the man. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, that, that woman mm-hmm. was just jealousy, selfish. Jealousy, 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 selfishness. Kuri, what are you talking about? Kuri, she did not think about what, what, what she said to the baby or what I'm affect a young man. Hey. She just wanted the man all to himself. I'm very, I was just saying, what do you think about adoption? Adoption? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's weighing down on you. Day. You know what? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind it, but the problem would be where now I have to tell the child. Obviously, I wouldn't let one of the people who are going to adopt you. Mm-hmm. I think the child has every right to know. Mm-hmm. As at a certain age, to know that I you were adopted. You. So. I don't know if I'm going to be able to break down the news to the child. You know what? Nah, but one day I wish to adopt a child. But me too. Like, I it's hope my I just let my child adopt a child in my, in my mm-hmm. I want to adopt a baby. But is, is adoption really, really that simple in Botswana? You know, mm-hmm. the process go on, you go to, you know, the, uh, what is it, is it court? Mm-hmm. You, you go, court. Court, uh, you set up an application, you know, it's an application for adopting a child, I think. Mm-hmm. So that you need to be assessed. Or, you yeah. do, you, do you make enough money? Mm-hmm. Do you take care of this child? Exactly. Is your family stable? Like, Kuri? Everything. Do you guys argue with how about the one I will cut up in these arguments mm-hmm. fighting more than one I put on and think what are what people adopted me now? You understand? Mm-hmm. Could they assess could they, your family members, could they, they assess everyone to check if if they were to give you this baby, mm-hmm. is everyone going to welcome the baby with the same love that both parents want to adopt the uh-huh. baby? Could they, hey, it, no, you but say you saying you saying they check with everyone, including relatives. Mm. Remember the story you just told us yeah. about mm. where the aunt was jealous. What happens now if we have such kind of relatives that I'm actually happy that you're taking a decision of adopting? What happens then? Do they consider those, they, or they no, just? They, 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 I feel like the external family doesn't doesn't really, really matter. Hey, yeah. Doesn't really, you know, but have that a is in Botswana. Botswana, I don't wanna like Botswana has always had adoption. Mm. It's just that the adoption was it wasn't legalized like yeah. it is now. Remember growing up you'd you'd see that your cousin all of a sudden your cousin owns a mm-hmm. full time and you as well subconsciously you end up treating your cousin like, like a sister. Yeah. 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 I think adoption is a it's just that it's, it wasn't all these formalities or let me go to the court, let me do A B C it was always there. The only difference is system like you are saying where you have to get an assessment of which in Botswana I don't think it is it's, it's as active as in what we see in the movies mm-hmm. and stuff like that so in Botswana I think it's still that thing where Mwana has said he's my sister and I can't get back and said he has multiple babies and then he like, decides like, you know what one. you know Tara, you know, yeah. keep that one, <laughs> keep it as, as yours. Then my child will grow into a mama. Probably will also confuse and call Sadi mm-hmm. Mama once in a while because I get me and Sadi are sisters, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, type of situation. So I think adoption has always been the important one. Mm-hmm. Same goes for surrogacy. Yes. But I don't know in this term, do you call it surrogacy in, in, in terms of men? Like, more or you know what if a man couldn't have kids? It it would be a relative, the brother or the uncle would actually come and assist with that process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, it was like that. And then the Mm. child grows up, because it was a secret. Nobody was meant to find out. It was a secret. You take it to the grave. We have a word for it. What's it called? Hmm? We, we have a way or a men word. who are not fertile. Mm-hmm. Yeah, men who are not fertile mm-hmm. at that time, like Sadie mm-hmm. said. Mm-hmm. Nah, so I like the whole day. I get to assess the situation. Mm-hmm. But, uh, these people have been together for what, three years? Mm-hmm. No child, no nothing. And then they would say, uh, Joy, Mm-hmm. When he's away on a trip, and then like, and the Masadu, okay, someone is gonna come hey. at night. When I just do the deed mm-hmm. and let it be. And so they were doing it naturally. Yeah, yes. naturally. naturally. And the, and man, would, and the man would never know. Yes. He would never know. He 
husband would never know. Yeah. You take it to the grave. Yeah. You take it to the grave. Yeah. Like, so the husband grade. would never know. Kore, this is not my child. Mm-hmm. Whatever. He would just assume. Kore, 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 kore. Even if they did black <laughs> tests, although back then there were no black tests. Yeah. That that using your brother mm. or your uncle, mm. your blood is the same. Surely the baby will come, you know, with something in future. Like, oh, this is you. Mm. 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 All right, beautiful people. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of our show. Yeah. It is the last one. <laughs> <laughs> it took me, it took me, it took me months <laughs> to, yeah. to, to come up with this show with you. <laughs> this is my baby. Do I have a pregnant child? Yeah. Finally, I get to release her. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, we have to bury her. No, you are birthing her. You're not burying her. <laughs> But let me express it now. I really had a nice time. I had guests, you know. Sadie, <laughs> Sadie. Like people are actually wondering, no, you know, to tell me, ulala. So this is my baby girl. It's my baby. I love this show so much. Because you, you know the, the whole reason why I just came up with this name is because I love food, and you know in a breakfast show you don't only talk about food, you talk about almost everything. So this is my baby. Okay, mommy. One day when we child, I'll name Shep Lam. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I, That's I'm a cute saying, name. Yeah, it's a cute name. I know. My 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 um, I actually have a younger sister. Mm-hmm. She's called Peach. Peach. So, yeah. And she's peaches. Peaches. Peach. Mm-hmm. Peach. So yeah, she actually has a cousin who bought chocolate. So she asked me one time, she was like, "I'm doing chocolate. What about chocolate? He can't bring that lunch. Whatever, whatever you want. As long as it's chocolate. As long as it's chocolate, it's chocolate. Mm-hmm. So guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for sharing all the beautiful details that you guys know about everything. Mm. Work together. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to cry too much because I don't want to hold my makeup. You're so it's been makeup. a pleasure. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. So I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. We did. So don't forget to thank your almost calls. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> on one of your last days on your show. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Sunny. Queen Sunny. Yes, Queen Sunny J. Yes. And the lovely Gio with the bubble. Yeah. <laughs> and flexibility. And flexibility. Yeah. I love like your hair, baby. You look like you're going to Dubai. You know, like girlfriend. You're going to Dubai. I need to get a little to get some money. Yes. You know, it's time you go to Dubai. Yeah. Bye, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you.